Cam, did you run into anybody that wasn't looking forward to Favre being part of the team? Not too many. There was a couple on the radio yesterday when we were coming into town that we heard a couple people a little worried about the way that uh, Brett Favre, as they said, seemed to be kind of selfish in his decisions since uh, the whole retirement roller coaster started about a year and a half ago. But um, beyond that, everybody kind of coming out here to uh, the Vikings training camp facility in Eden Prairie has uh, been pretty excited. We, had, we saw one person who didn't get their brand new Brett Favre number four jersey, had the old third string quarterback John David Booty jersey taped over with duct tape and said <laughs> Favre on the back. So uh, not too good day for John David Booty, not too good of a day, but um, a lot of excitement here in, in Minnesota. Well, yeah, and I mean, you were there starting yesterday. And we can see just on the video, Cam, that the buzz is, is in the air. I mean, what's it feel like? Uh, you kind of set the scene, but, I mean, you, you can probably feel the buzz as soon as you get into the training camp, can't you? Oh, as soon as you got in, I mean, from the fans to the media, as we've seen over the past year and a half or so since Favre originally said he was going to retire from the Packers, anything Brett Favre seems to be quite the spectacle, and this has been no different. The only difference is kind of that it's clad in uh, – purple and gold this time instead of green and gold or last year and green and white. So uh, quite a bit of buzz going on and as uh, Brett Favre's first full d uh, day of training camp today practicing with the team, uh, I'm sure the fans are going to turn out uh, in quite a few numbers as well. Yeah, Favre knows how to create a frenzy, doesn't he? Were you in that room when he was doing the news conference? I was. I was right there. Uh, Brett Favre showed up a little late, which he may uh, be known for uh, to in the Green Bay, but um, you can see the excitement uh, on people, a lot of uh, Minnesota media, everybody kind of wanting to know the questions, I'm sure as many fans did as well, about what actually transpired over the three weeks or so from when Brett Favre told the Vikings that he was going to stay retired till when uh, Coach Brad Childress made that call earlier this week and w what was really going on in that time. And so a little bit of light was shed on that yesterday today but uh, it was quite the scene all right Cameron we'll check back with you throughout the morning there live in Minnesota thanks a lot thanks Cam sounds good see you guys